Hello, everyone. This is the Kankyo Suishinka Kikugawa City Hall. Today, we would like to explain to you the current situation of garbage in Kikugawa City, how to dispose of it, the city's efforts, food loss, and all ours. Now we start the environmental lecture under the name Mixing Makes Garbage and Separating Makes Resources. Before we begin our explanation, I would like to introduce the Kankyo Suishinka briefly. The Kankyo Suishinka is engaged in work related to waste and the environment so that everyone can live in a comfortable and secure environment. First, let us explain the current situation of garbage in Kikugawa City. Now, Please see this graph. This is a graph of all the garbage volume from Kikugawa City. In 2020, the total was 11,375 tons. Next, please see this graph. This is the amount of garbage per person per day in Kikugawa City. In 2020, the amount was 644 grams. The recycling rate in Kikugawa City was 21.1% in 2020. One of the reasons for the decline in the recycling rate is a decrease in group collection at schools and other facilities due to coronavirus disaster. Here is a comparison of amount of garbage generated per person per day among cities in Shizuoka Prefecture. The average for Shizuoka Prefecture is 858 grams. As you can see in the graph here, Hikugawa City produces the second lowest amount of garbage per person per day among the 23 cities in the prefecture. We believe this is a result of the daily efforts of each and every one of you to reduce waste. Thank you so much for your efforts. We ask for your continued cooperation in reducing and recycling waste for a better environment. Next, we will explain Kikugawa City's waste management. Our burnable and non-burnable waste is collected by contractors from the city or brought in directly by each individual and is processed as intermediate waste at the Environmental Resources Gallery, a waste processing plant constructed by Kikugawa City and Kakegawa City. In term, processed waste is taken to a final disposal site for landfill disposal. In addition, the two cities of Kikugawa and Kakegawa bear the cost of operating the Environmental Resources Gallery and other expenses. Kikugawa City's contribution for one year is approximately 400 million yen. On a per capita basis, its disposal cost is approximately 8,000 yen. The amount of contribution is determined by the percentage of waste from both cities. Next, we will discuss basic garbage disposal. Before we explain how to dispose of your trash, let us tell you why we recycle. There are three main reasons to recycle. The first is to use limited resources with care. Japan is a resource poor country and has limited resources on a global scale. If they can be sorted and reused, they become resources. If not, they become garbage. An elementary school student asked which is less expensive, recycling or disposing of the waste as garbage. Frankly, it costs less to dispose of them as garbage than to recycle them. So why bother spending money to recycle? The reason for this is the limited resources, as we just mentioned. 
If we do not recycle and dispose of uh, everything as garbage because it costs money, if we do not recycle and dispose of everything as garbage because it costs money, we will have to dig for new resources increasingly. If everyone uses only new resources, the Earth's resources will one day run out. To prevent this from happening, we must conserve resources by recycling and reusing them. It will be reborn once again as a new product and will come back to you. Resources are limited, so we recycle. We urge you to keep this in mind. The second is to protect the Earth's environment. What happens if the garbage can no longer be processed? The problem of ocean plastic is becoming a very serious issue worldwide. As the garbage throw away flows from rivers to the ocean, where it is eaten by sea creatures. The third is to reduce money spent on waste disposal. If the amount of waste generated by Kikugawa City is reduced, the burden paid to the Environment Resources Gallery will be reduced. If the burden is reduced, the money can be used to improve the education, welfare, and others. Here, we like to reconfirm the basic rules on how to dispose of garbage. Kikugawa City asks everyone to do three things as basic rules. One, put them in city designated garbage bags and tie them up before putting them out. Remember to write the name of the community association and your name on the garbage bag. Two, put out the garbage by eight in the morning at the designated place on the collection day specified in the garbage calendar. Three, garbage that does not fit into the designated bags should be brought to the environmental resources gallery. These three matters are the basic rules, so please make sure your family and neighbors are aware of them. Let's review the types of refuse. Garbage is collected in three major categories. These are burnable, non-burnable, and recyclable. First, let's talk about burnable trash. Items that can be disposed of as burnable trash include food scraps, paper diapers, wooden products, plastic products, other than containers and packaging, leather products, and rubber products. Matches can be disposed of in burnable trash, but be sure to dispose only of used matches as they may ignite. This is an example of where burnable trash was actually disposed of incorrectly. Plastic products such as videotapes and cloth lines, which are burnable trash, were found in the non-burnable garbage bags. Please make sure to separate burnable and non-burnable trash and dispose of them in each designated garbage bag. Second, there was some trash wrapped in newspaper that could not be checked. In this case, we need to check such items at the time of collection. Please make sure that you show what is in the garbage bag and put it out. However, there are cases that some breakable items may puncture the designated garbage bags. In such cases, please wrap the item to prevent making holes in the bag and put it out with a note on the front of the designated bag stating at broken items inside. Do not double the garbage bag that may make the contents unseen.
Next is non-burnable trash. Items that can be put out with non-burnable trash are hardware such as spray cans and frying pans, small household appliances such as boom boxes and hair dryers, teacups and tableware, glassware and lighters without gas inside. Lithium ion batteries used in cell phones, computers, game consoles, and others should not be placed in non-burnable trash because of the risk of ignition when collected. For lithium ion batteries, as with dry cell batteries, please place them in the battery collection box located inside trash station or bring them to the Environmental Protection Center. Here are some examples of incorrectly disposed non-burnable trash. Plastic containers and packaging, which are resources, were put out in non-burnable trash bags, as well as bottles, cans, and pet bottles. Please recycle items that are resources. Next. There were cases where spray cans were placed directly into garbage bags. Since this could lead to vehicle fires or other accidents, please be sure to use up the contents of the spray can and vent gas before puncturing it to release it. Some municipalities do not ask you to make holes of the spray cans but in Kikugawa City, the spray can must be used up and gassed out before being put out with holes. We appreciate your cooperation in preventing accidents. Now, let's check how to dispose of burnable and non-burnable trash. One, separate burnable and non-burnable trash carefully. Two, please make sure that the contents of the bag can be identified and put out. Three, spray cans and lighters should be taken out of gas. Four, please separate and recycle what can be used as resources. Next, we will discuss about the items that cannot be disposed of by the city. As you can see, city cannot dispose of car tire wheels, fire extinguishers, pesticides, bottles of strong chemicals, batteries, injection needles used in at-home healthcare, and fertilizer bags other than those used at home. Please contact the source of purchase or specialized collection company for disposal. Next, recyclables. Items collected as recyclables are aluminum cans, steel cans, plastic bottles, and glass bottles. Glass bottles are sorted into three colors, clear, brown, and other colors. White trays and plastic containers and packaging are also collected as recyclables. Do you know how many types of recyclables are collected in Kikugawa City? The correct answer is 16 types. Kikugawa City collects so many types of recyclables. Last year, we also started collecting ink cartridges for home printers and cooking oil. Now, we will discuss about the plastic weight like plastic containers and packaging. Plastic containers and packagings are made of plastic material and used for containing and protecting products. You can put out the items with a plow mark as shown on the screen for guideline. The plow mark is used for the companies who manufacture the products and are obliged to pay for the disposal of plastic weight under the Container and Packaging Recycling Act. 
Tikugawa City also follows the rules and collects waste with Pramac as recyclables. For example, air cushions to wrap the electrical appliances or breakables are considered as plastic recyclables. Containers of wardrobe mothballs and refrigerator deodorizers also become plastic recyclables because they will not be utilized once the contents are consumed. Even small plastic bags placed at the supermarkets can be plastic recyclables, as same as plastic shopping bags, because they are used to contain items. When disposing of plastic recyclables, we find some people put the plastic recyclables in the collection net without taking them out of their plastic bags. When disposing of plastic waste, you should take them out of the bag and put them in a collection net. The number of people who take the collection nets home from the garbage station is also increasing. As we only have a limited number of collection nets, please do not take them home with you. Kikugawa City does not collect plastic products without the plumac, such as buckets and toys as the recyclables. Please put them in vulnerable trash and do not dispose of them in plastic waste. Next, please wash white trays and plastic bottles before putting them in the recyclables collection net. Do not break white trays after washing and put them out as a whole. Also, do not crush plastic bottles after washing inside and put them out as a whole. Remove labels, caps, and stickers from plastic bottles before putting out. Dispose of labels and caps as plastic waste. Stickers are to vulnerable trash. Glass bottles, aluminum, and steel cans should be cleaned inside and placed in the recyclables containers. Cosmetic bottles can be put out as other kind of glass bottles if cleaned inside. Items that cannot be cleaned should be disposed of as non vulnerable trash. It becomes more difficult to determine the color of bottles. In case you cannot determine if you are transparent or brown, put them as other kind of glass bottles. Do not crush aluminum cans and steel cans when putting them out. Crushed cans may have difficulty stinging together when compressed into a lump and may fall apart. We also collect the crushed cans, but please try not to crush before putting them out. And the most common items found in water collection are heat-resistant glass cookware, tableware, and baby bottles. Heat-resistant glass cookware is mainly for the bottles of pickling brown wine. They have the different composition from the collectible glass bottles, so please put them in non-vulnerable trash and not in recyclables. Sometimes, People put out those items incorrectly. If they are mixed with glasses by mistake, they'll affect the strength and quality of new glass bottles. So please dispose of them as non burnable trash and not in recyclables. Some glass bottles are not collected as glass bottles. Bottles that contain pesticides or poisonous chemicals are only accepted by a specialized collection company. Please clean the contents inside the bottles before putting them out. They cannot be collected with their contents inside, even if they are recyclable bottles. Be sure to remove the contents and wash them clean before putting them out for bottle collection. Also remove clasps from the bottles 
before putting them out. If you cannot remove clasps, put them in non burnable trash. Now, let's check how to dispose of recyclables. One, leave no stains and leftover. Two, put recyclables in the designated containers or collection nets. Three, put the plastic waste other than recyclables in burnable trash. Four, take the home kept recyclables out of the plastic bag and put each of them in the collection net. Miscellaneous papers are often disposed of as burnable garbage. Tish boxes, newspapers, and other miscellaneous papers can be recycled if you sort them. Used papers is collected at each district center, the north side of the city hall, the environmental protection center, and Akatsuchi recycling station. For location details, please refer to a website or the booklet, How to Dispose of Garbage. Newspapers, magazines, and cardboards should be tied up with paper string to put out. Please put miscellaneous papers in a paper bag or old envelope to put out. Please note that items coated with vinyl or aluminum are considered as burnable trash, even if the paper mark are printed on them. For example, a cup noodle lid becomes burnable trash. Next, we'll talk about Kikugawa City's efforts to reduce waste. At first, we aim to collect clothing. The purpose is to promote effective use of resources and reduce combustible waste by reusing them instead of disposing of them as burnable trash. Collection sites are at the north side of the Kikugawa City Hall parking lot, the Akatsuchi Recycling Station, and the Environmental Protection Center. These are the items that can be collected at the clothing collection site. You can see the information at the collection site and on our website. These items cannot be collected as clothing, so please dispose of them in vulnerable or non vulnerable trash. Clean phones are collected free of charge at the Environmental Protection Center. Please refer to the information at the collection sites and on our website. Now, let's confirm how to put out clothing. One, items that can be collected are only reusable clothing. The collected clothing are sent to developing countries. Please check by yourself if the items can be used again before putting out as recyclables. Two, we cannot collect smelly, dirty, wet, torn items and items for pets. Three, please tie them with string or put them in a bag before putting them in the container. Do not put shoes and clothes in the same bag together. Put each of them separately. Next topic is a collection of used small home appliances. We aim to promote resource minimization and recycling-oriented society and to reduce the amount of garbage by collecting the used small home appliances that once disposed of as vulnerable trash. Collection is conducted by the Environmental Protection Center. In January 2022, we also started home collection by the courier service providers. Please search Greenet Japan on the internet. Small household appliances that can be collected are rice cookers, microwave ovens, and computers at home. Please note that items used at the business office cannot be collected.
However, the Environmental Protection Center cannot accept those four types of appliances like refrigerators, televisions, air conditioners, washing machines, and clothes dryers due to required recycling fees. Please purchase a recycling ticket at the post office and bring it to the Environmental Resources Gallery or Shizuoka Daikyu Unyu Company in Fukuroi City. Otherwise, contact the Cooperating Appliance Recycling Store in the city. For more information, please refer to our website or the House to Dispose of Garbage booklet. Next topic is the collection of cooking oil. We used to solidify them with chemicals or soak them in paper or clothes and dispose of them as burnable trash. But in March 2022, we launched a new recycling collection program to recycle and reduce waste. They are collected by the Kankyo Suishinka, the Akatsuchi Recycling Station, and the Environmental Protection Center. The type of oil that can be collected is liquid vegetable oil only. Please visit our website for more information. Dispose of the medically hardened oils in the same manner as the burnable trash. Solid vegetable oil, animal oil, machine oil, and oil that has not been used at home are the main types of oil that cannot be collected. Please visit our website for more information. We will check how to dispose of cooking oil. One, used cooking oil should be strained through an oil strainer. Two, put the oil in a clear plastic bottle and seal it tightly to prevent spillage. Three, only household cooking oil will be collected. Four, for those items that cannot be collected, please take them home, harden them or soil them with rags and dispose of them as burnable trash. Then we will talk about the collection of used papers. Paper collection sites are found at the district centers, Akatsuchi Recycle Station, and the Environmental Protection Center. Not all district centers collect paper, so please refer to the booklet of how to dispose of garbage or city website for more information. Collectible used papers are newspapers, magazines, cardboards, and miscellaneous papers. Now I'll give you a brief explanation of miscellaneous papers. Miscellaneous papers are easy to be disposed as burnable garbage. These are sweets and tissue paper boxes, memo papers, sticky notes, and others. Please recycle miscellaneous papers as a valuable resource. Some types of used paper cannot be collected. These are wet papers, fertilizer bags, and aluminum coated papers. Other than that, thermal paper like receipts and photo papers, special processed papers, and papers with odors and stains cannot be collected. So dispose of them as burnable trash. Let's confirm the three basic rules of how to dispose of used papers again. First, tie the used papers with paper string or put them in a paper bag before disposing. Second, separate newspapers and flyers each other. Third, some kind of papers cannot be recycled even with a paper mark. The paper mark is an old mark that can be recycled, so please dispose of special coated papers as burnable trash, even with a paper mark. Next, let us introduce our subsidy program 
for waste disposal equipment. The eligible appliances are household bio and dry types and ground mounted compost type. The maximum subsidy amount has been increased since fiscal year 2022. The subsidy amount is two thirds of the purchase price with a maximum of 70,000 yen for the bio and dry type and 7,000 yen for the compost type. If you are considering purchasing one, contact the Pankyo Suishin car before purchasing. Next, we will talk about food waste. Food waste is food that can be eaten, but is thrown away. Have you ever left or bought too much food to throw away because you couldn't eat it all? Food waste is a major problem in the world today. We'll be able to eat food because many people work hard and receive the life of living things. Food is also an important resource. It's not infinite. Don't you think it's a waste to throw away edible things? The amount of food wasted each year is an astonishing 5.22 million tons. This is 1.2 times the amount of global food aid provided to the world's hungry. The volume of food waste per capita in Japan is about 41 kilograms per year, which is equivalent to one bowl of rice, about 113 grams for a Japanese person to eat every day. Let's focus on food waste in the home. Do you waste food for any of these reasons? Think about these things like, I make too much and can't finish it. I cut more food than necessary and throw it away. I buy too much and can't eat all, or I forget to eat it and it gets moldy. All of these lead to food waste. You often hear the terms consumption date and best before date. Can you tell the difference? Consumption date means that you should not eat after the consumption date. It is shown on foods with a short shelf life. For foods that are labeled with consumption dates, buy only what you can eat and try to eat up before the consumption date. The best before date is the deadline when you can eat deliciously. It is shown on foods that's not likely to spoil than the one with the consumption date. It doesn't mean they become unable to eat after the best before date. So try to eat them up by boiling or baking them in your way. Try to keep these three actions in mind, not to increase food waste at home. When shopping, buy only what you can eat up. When cooking, make only enough to eat. When eating, eat up deliciously. Please cooperate with choose front row items to choose items on the front row of the shelves if you use or eat them immediately. Items close to the consumption date and best before date are often placed on the front row of the store shelves. If you take items on the back row of the shelves, items on the front row remain unsold and are returned or discarded. Kikugo City is also working on reducing food waste. We made posters to raise awareness about reducing food waste and displayed them in places where everyone could see them 
with the cooperation of convenience stores, large supermarkets, drug stores that handle fresh food and other facilities. To reduce the volume of discarded foods, try to choose foods on the front row of the shelves if you eat them immediately. The school lunch center collects vegetable scraps when cooking and leftovers from school lunches to recycle them into electricity and fertilizer instead of disposing of them as vulnerable trash. Since the fiscal year 2022, Ozora Certified Child Care Center and Kikugo General Hospital have recycled their baby food residues and food leftovers. The Kikugo Biogas Plants of Suzuyo Shoji Company Limited recycles food residues with the help of microorganisms. The plant ferment methane by microorganisms and use it to generate electricity while the neighboring bell farm uses heat and carbon dioxide from electricity generation for their photosynthesis for tomatoes. Other companies also use the remainings as fertilizers by removing water from them. In this way, the Kikugawa Biogas Plant of Suzuro Shoji Company Limited is committed to creating a recycling-oriented society and practicing environmentally friendly. Now, we would like to summarize at the end. Kikugawa City promotes the four R's. Four R's stands for the first letter of the alphabet of waste-related initiatives. The first one is refuse. Refuse item that will become garbage and use your bags when shopping. The second one is reduce. In addition to reducing garbage, it is also important to reduce food waste. The third one is reuse. You can reduce waste by using things carefully and giving away items you no longer need it. The fourth one is recycling. We appreciate your cooperation regarding the recycling we discussed today. Please be proactive in using city and supermarket recycling stations. Finally, there are two requests from Kikugawa City. First, the increase in littering and illegal dumping. Garbage in city-owned land and roads can be collected by the city, but those in private land cannot be collected by the city and will have to be cleaned up by the land manager. Both littering and illegal dumping are apparent crimes and are punishable by imprisonment of for up to five years or fine of up to 10 million yen. Please do not litter with easy mind and we'll ask landowners to take specific action to prevent throwing away garbage and to utilize the notification signboards distributed by the Kankyo Suishinka. However, since we do not distribute the signboards to individuals, please ask your community association to apply for them if necessary. Second, do not use free waste collection companies. A permit from the municipality is required to do business collecting and transporting unused items. However, most companies advertising free waste collection operate without permission, so please do not use them. They are doing business in the way of a truck type or vacant lot type. Please be aware that such companies demand a hefty price if you use them, even if they claim free of charge and will dump your collected waste illegally. That's all for the explanation. 
We look forward to your continued cooperation in beautifying the environment of Kikugawa City. Thank you for your attention for a long time.